All right, guys. Well, I am margaritaless and beerless on my last night in the collapsed Mayan Empire of Chulha, Mexico, on this lovely Sunday night, February 12th, 2023, as the sun begins to set over the second collapse and uh, this town you know <laughs> it's just so weird to be actually in a place where I mean I don't even know I'm uh, shows you how much I've studied the Mayans I think it was 1500 years ago that this place uh, was a bustling Mayan community now there's not any ruins you know the big stone ruins right around here so i don't know exactly what the mayans did on the shore of this lake but i mean it was right in the middle of the you know a flourishing thriving uh civilization and then whatever happened there happened and uh here we are back again and, it, and it's just I'm, I'm, I'm trying to piece together what happened in this town and what somebody was explaining to me yesterday that a lot of what I'm seeing with these abandoned hotels with all of these uh, hotels and restaurants and stuff that uh, they're completely abandoned are can't see that one across the lake or, or just gotten shabby or whatever and she was saying well obviously you dumb gringo it was corona panic that uh, you know three years ago uh, this place was hopping and overnight when corona panic hit when was that March of 2020 we we're pretty much the three-year anniversary that it was just you know the absolute overreaction uh, and, and just this full-scale fucking freak out and the place went from uh, you know this vibrant happening with all of this building going on and all of this gringo investment and all of this and overnight all of that was gone and here we are three years later now for, for instance this place i'm sitting in now this place to me looks like it obviously was abandoned more than three years ago but things in the tropics they go to hell in a handbasket pretty quick and uh so i don't even know the story of the place that I'm sitting in it, it all I know is well that was clearly that wing back there was places they were renting out so I don't know if where I am sitting I'm sitting up here on the rooftop terrace of this uh, which is obviously at one point a nice home but it looks to me like less than three years ago well you know i look at the condition of this uh pvc pipe and who knows maybe it was three years ago that uh, i could have gotten a margarita right here and uh it just <laughs> you know sitting here in a in a collapsed civilization just looking at it happening all over again and just uh, the, the tiny little trigger that it took to bring this uh, to, to bring this down now some of them either never went down or they have recovered and so let's see there's secreto and then there are, I think, four, maybe five of these uh, big fancy gringo hotels 
that uh, survived. And although I got inside one of them uh, yesterday, and as far as I could tell, nobody was there on a, on a beautiful weekend. And it's just, it just, just eerily quiet. I mean, I like the part about it being eerily quiet, but, uh, you know, here I am bitching and moaning uh, because, you know, I can't find a damn margarita in this town. You know, there's 2,000 people in here, and it's still a lot of tourist economy. Can't find a margarita uh, in, in, in this town, and as I say, trying to find a fucking beer uh, on, a, on a Sunday evening. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's just crazy. And I'm thinking, of course, the real estate investor in me is thinking... Uh, you know, this place is, is going to come back. There is not, well, I notice there is not one for sale sign, which you do see along the lake shore here and in Bacalar is not for sale. This property is not for sale signs. Uh, in two languages, I do enjoy the not for sale signs. So, uh, and then this one place that uh, we were at a couple of days ago. Now, they used to serve margaritas, and they said, you know, they're remodeling, and they're going to reopen again in April, and starting in April, uh, you know, you'll be able to come hang out and get a damn margarita on the lake shore without having to spend $300 on a hotel room you know it's a double-edged sword it uh, on, on one hand I appreciate all the peace and quiet uh, but on the other hand you know I'm, I'm thinking of do do I really want to live here I mean obviously I'll be able to make my own fucking margaritas and, and I have a refrigerator to keep me you know I'll always have a cold beer on a Sunday and make my own margaritas uh, and I guess I can just come hang out here on the terrace and uh, but you know I mean I really need to decide and then of course I'll be 64 next year and uh, would I really be happy living in the middle of a collapse here uh, I mean, uh, apparently, I, I, you know, right now I have this place entirely to myself, uh, but it's it's this entirely to myself. Uh, you know, it just gets back to the old doomsday lonely heart whine. I mean, every night I can be sitting here, I... I <laughs> I'll, I will do my full whine on Tuesday. On, I mean, when is Valentine? Yeah, Tuesday. But, uh, you know, the thought of just sitting here alone every night. Sitting here in paradise alone. And with my thumb up my ass. Uh, I, I honestly believe... Well, anyway, I said I will... I, I, I know the woman exists on this planet who would think this was pretty cool that we could come spend the winter down here and uh, just love among the ruins. I've always loved that, uh, that title. Who was that? Walker Percy. Love among the ruins. <laughs> that there is a numer chick out there <clears throat> who gets it. And uh, there, there could be no more place, no more ironic and absurdist than living in Chulha, Mexico. And then there's a, you know, there's a city of 150,000 people 15 minutes that way. I'm 15 minutes from a fucking Walmart. And 15 minutes that way, you know, there's all the gringo bars so you know, i'll have my own truck so you know anytime 
I, I want to go to one of these lakefront bars and get my margarita. Of course, I'll be too drunk to drive home after I do. Uh, Oh boy. Decisions, decisions. It's actually a boat. Well, it's supposed to be a sailboat, but they're using their motor. This sailboat has this lake all to itself. I'm a happy family. Out there on their little sailboats. Oh, shit. All right. Off to Belize tomorrow. We will be at Key Calker. We have two nights on the beach. We have not spent one night of this Mexican vacation on a beach. So we're going to spend two nights on the beach and head up into the hills to see if San Ignacio Belize is going to be my winter bivouac. Get out there and find your winter bivouac while you still can. My gosh. 